To my channel thanks so much for tuning in if you're tuning for the first time you're so welcome please go on and hit that subscribe button in today's video we are finally going to be doing our house tour a lot of you guys that follow me up on my other channel to the channel already know that I recently moved to lagos let me show you guys around my house first of all is that i live in a studio apartment or maybe apartment that i turn to a studio apartment one thing about me is that even if i'm staying two days in a place i like to make it feel like home if you live in lagos here it's very chaotic so the best you can do for yourself is make your house feel like home so that if you're leaving that chaotic outside uh, that hectic job whatever thing you're doing outside coming back to your home is like your resting place and so moving into this apartment when i saw the apartment it's quite a big space i knew that uh, i'm going to turn it into a studio apartment studio apartment is not very popular here in nigeria so a couple of I know about it know about it but when you tell people that you're looking for a studio apartment most of them don't even know what's a studio apartment so I know what I'm looking for I wanted my kitchen my bathroom I wanted everything to be in the same space so the house is just like a big room and I personally turn it into a studio apartment because that's what I wanted I wanted everything just around me second of all is that when i moved into this apartment i have that thing in me that i wanted to go for minimalist decor even though i end up doing minimalist decor but i did not go really extreme a lot of you guys that know about minimalist decor you already know that minimalist is where you just there's no a lot of things going on in as much as i want to make my house look uh minimalist i really don't want to have an empty space i want my house to feel like home i will not even lie i want to feel like home i want to feel like so relaxing i did not really go all minimalist and i did not really do all full house decor i hate to see house looking all junky like and again is that i did not want to have an empty space honestly i really don't want to have an empty space when i go really minimalist it's going to look very very empty and i don't think i'll be happy with it so another thing again is that with this house i wanted bright colors you guys know i'm a creator i wanted a house with big windows i wanted a house with windows that have enough ref enough light and because i am not really a fan of ring light honestly honestly i did more of white and gray i went with gray and white and i realized that to me i don't know to every other person it looks a little bit boring to me i was getting to the point where i was starting to see that gray and white will work for me so i said you know what i'm going to do a lot of gray and a lot of white and a touch of maybe plants yellow frames tint to just spice up the color and that's what i did i got a lot of things from online especially instagram and jumia so i'm so for everything i bought online especially instagram i'm going to be listing at their ig name on my description box the ones that i trust and know that i can recommend so guys let me just go ahead and show you guys how it looks and how i decorated it and how i turn it into a slab. so guys let's get started first of all is that when you come into the house you're going to be seeing this door I'm going to be doing a voice cover all through this video because I realized that the noise at the background when I was editing it was just too distracting. So moving on, this is the door. The door is not really the best. I tried to repaint it, but then again, I started to leave it because I'm not going to live here forever. Right after the door, the next thing you're going to see is my slippers that I wear inside because I don't like to match the floor directly. So the next thing you're going to see is my 4x6 bed. This is a really small, not really a small, a medium sized bed because I live alone, it's quite enough for me. So this bed is made with purely wood and it came out exactly how I wanted it. A carpenter here in Lagos made it for me and I must say that I love it. It's quite close to the door and that is why it's actually 4 by 6 because if it's bigger than this, it's not going to fit into the space. So guys, this is what my bed look like. So I got this really nice uh, blanket from Instagram with the name 
homestead i'm going to put it in my description box so you guys can buy if you want so guys this is all all my beddings are satin my pillowcase is satin my bed sheet is satin only my duvet and my blanket are not satin i mostly like to use satin because you guys know i have natural hair the next thing at the top of my bed you're going to see is this live plant i read something i can't remember where that when you have a fresh plant like a live plant beside your bed it's kind of clear or uh, the hair that you you breathe your oxygen whatever and that was why i brought this life plant to the side of my bed there is a window beside my bed so the plant will surely survive so after that one thing i have again at the top of my bed is this uh really nice uh frame i really love this frame i got about seven frames you guys are going to see all of them and this one is one of my favorites so after my bed you can see my bedside so i kept my bedside here because uh the space beside my bed is not big enough you guys can see if i keep this beside the bed it's going to obstruct the door so i kept it just this place i have some of my morning books some books that i'm currently reading that i really like just random church uh kind of book morning prayer bible i just kept it there because after i step down from my bed the next thing is i pick up this book so i put it in a place where it can be reachable so after my bedside the next thing that you see is this beautiful mirror this mirror is one thing i love most in this house i really love this mirror it's just uh, right after my bed stand and i have this round or uh, rug at the front sometimes i just sit here and chill or sometimes i when i come back from outside i drop my bags this way like i offload all my bags before i go into shower or whatever so at the right side of uh the the mirror you're going to see this tall standing plant i got this plant also from instagram and i'm going to be uh, dropping the name in my description too so if you want the plant you can get if you want it's a really nice plant the plant will just take your picture from zero to hundred it just beautified the space and made this space look really nice just in case you're wondering this is not a live plant this is an artificial plant like a fake plant let me come closer that you guys can see it looks really nice and yeah that's it about the plant so the next thing you're going to see just after the plant is my work area there's not a lot of thing going on here guys i just have this beautiful table i got this table from also from instagram from a page called uh, nigeria minimalist or minimalist nigeria whatever and i got the chair from jumia this table is so pretty guys this video is not even doing justice to it the table feels so smooth and clean and i love the kind of material they use if there's any stain you can literally clean it off yes so guys that's all that is going on in this my work area there's not a lot of thing on the table like i said i don't like everywhere looking junky and so on this table i just have this small basket that i got from ebano supermarket and i also have this candle that i got on instagram from a page called clay Marcus. i saw this uh candle from uh nendo kk's story she posted it on her story and i bought it and i love 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 it, it smells so rich then i have this my youtube plug that i got from my other channel uh yes so that's about it in my work area there's not a lot going on and also my laptop so right after my bed i have my kitchen side that is the only thing i don't like about the house the fact that my kitchen side is close to my bed but then again i live alone and this is a studio apartment so most studio apartments everything is literally beside each other you will see bed area beside work area work area beside or oh, the kitchen area it's always like that so this is how my kitchen looks it's very very minimal i use white and brown because i wanted something neutral and also one thing that i love most about this house again is this blind it's so it's so funny how this blind can just change the entire look of this house if i raise it up it's it's a different angle if i bring it down i love 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 the blind so this is how um my kitchen looks a very minimal kitchen it's made with wood by the way when i move into this apartment this kitchen was not there so i made this kitchen from scratch myself everything about this kitchen the wood i made it from scratch the sink i put everything myself this place was just an empty space then i have my toasting mesh toasting my bread toaster is that what they call it i got this toaster from jumia and i got my kettle also from jumia and and I got this really nice cup from Ebano Supermarket. So the kitchen came with three cupboards. The first cupboard 
in there i have my plates my microwave just uh things that i use for cooking and all of that the next cupboard i have my pots my bowls for washing and the third cupboard i have some of my uh, grocery food stuff and all of that so that is how my kitchen looks so i have this really minimal uh, pantry thing going on and i got this particular set from jumia then the other ones these ones i got them from instagram i'm also going to put the name where i got these ones from then at the top of the pantry i have my kitchen or uh, tissue and some of my glass cup so i got this mat uh, from jumia yeah i wanted it to match this color so that's why i picked this particular color so guys that's all going on in my kitchen there's not a lot of things but then i still love how it turned out so there is this big space right after my kitchen that i covered with a white cutting that space is the wardrobe space i'm still going to go there later but before we get there let me show you guys my uh city room area so guys at the other side of the room when you turn your camera just after the kitchen and the bedside the next thing you're going to be seeing is my city room area here in the city room area you can see a lot of gray colors going on when you move into the city room area the first thing you're going to be seeing is my couch i have a computer here in lagos made this couch for me then i have these frames i got this frame from the same vendor on instagram i'm going to put a name down below too i have this particular one customized for me written god never goes wrong i love this quote so much and i have it made for me so i i kind of arranged this frame in a descending manner i don't know if that's how it looks but that was what i was trying to do then i have this rug honestly lately i've not been liking this rug so i might just change it later then i have this little uh table or side stood also i got it from instagram it's literally like everything in my house is from instagram or jumia so i got that from from instagram i already mentioned then this is another thing that i really like i have this uh shelf and on the top of the shelf i have a portrait of me there and i also have uh, the second uh, step i have where i keep my vitamins some of my hair vitamins that i take and this particular brand i've worked with before and they send me this um these vitamins then the second the second step i have my perfume some of my books that i, I want to read again so guys just beside the shelf you have my window and this is the other side of the window you have my dressing area i have this vanity table i have my makeup inside i have some of my go-to skincare products and also i have my jewelry box where i keep all my jewelry then there's this uh, fluffy mat that i use to take pictures of products sometimes product that brand sent for me or just random pictures of stuff i want to take then i have this lovely mirror i love 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 this mirror i also got it from instagram too i am going to be putting the handle of where i got this mirror too down my description box and between the mirror and my tv side i have these plants that i got also on instagram then after you have my tv area this TV area is really 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 minimal because i do not want a lot of thing going on i just have my tv and a very simple console and they came with three drawer in this one i have my hair stretcher this other one i have my camera stuff inside and that's basically all that is going on here and i have my fan of course if you live in nigeria you know that you need fan for backup in case there is no uh, light or maybe your gen side to mess up so you need fan to back up so i also have this live plant uh these are the plant that shed out of the one beside my bed so i just put them in this uh more like a glass cup and guys it's actually growing all i do is just change the water and it's growing i'm so happy so back to this side of the house where i told you guys at the marketed using this white cotton where you open it up it's like a whole different room on its own here i have my shoe rank my back rank i have my fridge in here and i also have my washing machine here and also my wardrobe i love love this particular part of the house and the fact that i use cutting to demarcate it and when i close up the cutting everything is just close off and also i also have my uh, my bathroom inside of that space too 
so guys that's the end of the video i did not even know that filming up talk can be this hectic i see people film home too and it looks so easy guys i just hope i tried my best because honestly i did not really think it can be this difficult so guys that's the end of today's video and i hope you guys enjoy it if you like the video please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys